and finding the trapezoidal rule, we're going to start with these first two. So I'm going to say f of 0 plus f of 2. It's multiplied by 1 half, which is really just dividing by 2, correct? And then we're multiplying it by its height, which is dx, which is 2, which is that width, right? The height of the trapezoid is the width, which is 2. Then we're going to say f of 2 plus f of 5 divided by 2 times your distance here, which is 3. Right? From 2 to 5, you have 3. Then we're going to go from 5 to 7. f of 5 plus f of 7 divided by 2. The distance between those two is 2. And then we're going to do f of 7 plus f of 8 divided by 2 times 1. Now the nice thing about this one is these intervals, those we don't really need to do twice again, right? Because dividing by 2 and multiplying by 2 undo each other, correct? So we don't really need to worry about that. Um, so when I calculate this, I have f of 0, which is 0 plus 4, which is just 4. Plus here, I have f of 2 plus f of 5. So it's 2 plus 5, which is 17, times 3, which is 51. 51 divided by 2 is just going to be 51 divided by 2. Plug in your calculator if you need. Plus five, f of 5 plus f of 7. So that's going to be 13 plus 21. 13 plus 21 is going to be 34. And then plus, last but not least, we have f of 7 plus f of 8, which is going to be 44. Divided by 2, thank you, which is 22. OK, now let's go ahead and use decimals. And let's just rewrite this as 25.5 to make life a little bit easier on ourselves. And I think when I added all those up, I get approximately 